This stick is called the whoosh stick. The whoosh stick. Because, because with these holes, it makes a whoosh sound. Now swing this back and forth as if you are swinging rope. And then give me a good whoosh sound both ways. No need to hit the ground. Okay? Just uh, swing slightly above that uh, near T. Above that, yeah. Okay, swing back and forth. Mm -hmm. On the way down, on the way down, here. On the way, you are, you are dropping here. Instead of go up and just throw in the turning. Do not pull this down. So here, again, on the way down, this action. Remember this action instead of this action. Okay. Throw this way, throw this way. Throw outward this way here. Instead of pulling inward, you'll really decide too much. Mm -hmm. Still, still. So with this, your swing plane is outward. You tend to pull this down. So look at this. So instead of pull this down, going this way, pull, rather throw here. Throw, throw, throw and turn this way. Ah, uh, ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop this, right, right there. Because of this here, your swing plane is going outward. This is excessive. At this point, your hand position should be this way. And then let it go this way. Okay? Instead of coming this, like this, it should be here. Okay? Again, that's the problem with the strong group. When you have tender strong group here, come down like this. Instead, go more neutral, go more neutral here, and then you in, at impact position, you are impacting like this, instead of going this way. And turn this one more. Ah, wait, 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 wait. You're stopping this in the back side. Let it go all the way. So let's go to the top. Let's go to the top. Hmm. Like this. Okay? This. Remember this elbow position here. And then the head is here. You should be able to see the head. This is the, the position here. Okay? Instead of baseball posture. Go this way. Okay, swing back and forward. Uh, on, the, on the way down, you're coming this way here. Nope. Just to extend it here and let it go. And then turn this way. Okay? So you have this habit of uh, pulling this down here. But instead, if you go this way here, the elbow is uh, stuck here. And then you cannot turn this way. You have to throw out here. That's why you are dropping your right side quite a bit. Left side goes really high. That, put, that puts a lot of burden on the spine here. Instead, go high here, from here. Bring this down, turn this way. So more have, have a more symmetric motion both ways. Here. Remember the rope swing. So now because it's a bit uh, stiffer, so you can manipulate it. But with that, your swing plane is now like this. Instead, this way. Mm -hmm. So in doing this, in doing this, in doing this, you don't fight with the stick here. You have to let it go all the way, let it go, and then nicely slow down, and then change the direction. So the motion should be continuous, and let it go. So you have to image the whole motion as a one motion, okay? And you have a good acceleration here, deceleration, and then finish here, acceleration here, deceleration here, and finish. 
overall the swing motion is one continuous motion here. Instead of having an abrupt stop here. Okay? Make it continuous. Then put it all the way back. Do not fight it with the, your right arm. Let it go all the way. We are moving in this way, we are moving the white ball around the body. Okay? Like a rope. The end motion is really important. So here, 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 here. So pretend that you have a club in your hand and go to the top. Go to the top. From here, instead of sliding this and then bring this down here, go up here. From here, just a turn. The turn and then bring the arm down here. And then turn. So on this side, the club head has to move ahead of your hand here. Instead of going this way here, you have to let the club head go ahead of your hand. Yes, yes, yes. But if you drop this side here, on the way down, if you drop this side, everything is already going like this. So instead here, just from here, just the turn and then throw the club head around. So keep this, this side, the swing plane flat here, on this side here, okay? And then bring the arms higher in the back swing, go up here, and then just turn around so that you can have a flat swing plane here. So, let's do this. So swing this back and forth here. Swing, 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 swing. In this motion, your arm stays against the chest here. You're not using the arm. You're, you're turning the whole chest and about together as one unit, using the legs, turn, 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 turn. Feel, feel the plane here. This is the plane you need to follow. So swing, 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 go, then follow the same plane. Okay? Again. It's too big, it's too big, it's too big, too big, too big. So, just here, and then just to turn the body. Remember the caliber swing. In the caliber swing, you didn't use the arms much, and just try to keep the arms straight, right? Mm -hmm. About that much. Oh, no, not this. <laughs> you have to let the head go in front of your body. Okay. So, turn, 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 turn. Ah, you need to intend to use your arms here. Just to hold it, turn the body, turn the body, turn the body, turn the body, and then go up all the way here, and then follow that thing. Follow, oh, we have to come go this way. You see, when you come down this way here, you tend to go to this position, you're lifting the curly head here. Instead, come here and then flip, and then let the curly head keep going along this way. Okay? Keep this side flat. Again. No, no, no. Do not hold it here. Let go. You're moving the end of the stick, not your arm. Here. You have to move your end, your, the end of the stick here. Look at this. The motion you want to maintain is this, uh, the white ball motion. All the way, all the way. You have to use the wrist instead of wheels, instead of going this here. So you only move your body, but you're not really paying attention to the motion of the stick, right? Mm -hmm. The goal is to move this thing around. When you use the rope, because it's flexible, you have to let it go all the way so that the end of the rope goes here. 
the same thing. You have to wait until the end of the skip goes here. Okay. Instead of already moving down here, you have to wait until this is completed and then play. Imagine a swing. When the swing comes up, you have to wait until this is completed and then push. Mm, and push instead of bite. Right? The same thing. In the back swing, the end of, end of the back swing is when this motion is completed. Instead of fighting here, let go all the way. You will actually give extra shoulder turn and the head as large back swing as possible. Okay? And then start the down swing. Do not fight with the club, work with the club. Mm, still the right side is coming in too much. Let's do this. So you have developed, early on, you developed this pattern here, so uh, like your dad. Or your dad maybe taught this. <laughs> Using the left arm only, throw, 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 throw. You know to throw this, instead of using the arms like this, you have to use the shoulder, shoulder turn and then throw. Shoulder turn and throw. Have the image of opening the left side and throw instead of closing using the right side. Currently you have too much of this here. That's why it's dropping here. In the left side, opening your chest and then throwing. Mm -hmm. Ah, this. I can easily tell uh, what, what you did. The first one was okay, but. Uh, Uh, it's getting, wait, Collier, as you swing this back and forth, what you need to do, you have to figure out in which direction you are throwing this. You have to figure out what you are doing. Otherwise, you cannot change. Okay, you have to know exactly what you're doing, then you can make adjustment. So as you swing back and forth, the goal here is swinging the stick toward the target not outward, that way. You have to adjust the, the swing plane. Okay, you are the only one who can do that. Okay? So swing, swing it toward me, not outward. Yes. Uh, I'm going outward. Still, you, you, you adjusted the plane a little bit, but still you are doing this here. Still you are doing that. Yes. Then you try to turn the body a lot to make this there. Is that? You have to let the club head go in front of your hands here. Let it go. You have to flip the hands and then let it go instead of this is actually a bad head. You have so many bad examples on the on TV screen, so that's why. But uh, you have to let the clip head go ahead of your hand on this side. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Now. Very good. <laughs> So what happens is uh, this motion is called forearm supination pronation. This is happening within the forearm. There are two bones in the forearm. One bone is rolling over another. With this, you have this motion, this motion. So when you swing this way, you have to have, on this side, you should have a supination of the right forearm. Supination here. This supination will allow you to keep elbow more inside. Inside from this way. Yeah. Supination here. On this side, pronation. 
this the left side does, does the opposite thing. Pronation here, supination here. So essentially what you have is uh, this motion here, this motion. Okay? Instead of going all the way like this. This causes the stuck elbow here. Instead, let it go. Yeah, flip it around. Both ways you're flipping, flipping, flipping. Ah, uh, uh, still. When you start the downswing, you're dropping this too much. So your swing plane like goes like this. Instead, instead of dropping, just go forward. Okay? Go forward and then turn around instead of dropping this way. Then go forward and then turn here. Turn here instead of dropping it. When you drop here, the stuck elbow go this way. You have a severely outward swing plane. Again, you have to start more forward at the beginning of the downswing and then turn this way. Mm -hmm. Turn this way, turn this way, turn around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have to feel, you have to feel this pad. Still your hands are coming this way. When your hands are right here, it's always easy to come down this way, dropping this way again. But instead, swing and then you have to square the club. Square the club and then let it go this way. So swing and turn around, swing and turn around, swing and turn around. Okay. You need to turn around your left leg and turn and stand on the left side. Instead of here. When you go this way here, the pelvis is collapsing. That's why you move backwards. Try to stand on the middle leg in the downswing after turning. So, uh, yeah, have a comfortable position here and then swing back and forth, but you have to have pronation, supination, pronation well. Now, I'm on this side here. Try to swing it to, to me without changing the stance. You have to, you have to swing left a lot more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, here, here. When you let the right arm go in here, then you cannot extend the little leg here. Okay. When you when you drop this side too much here, hold here. When you drop the right side too much, you cannot extend the leg later. So stand a bit taller here, and then turn and swing and then stand on the little side like this. Okay. Stand. After, after the downswing, stand on the lead side. Your lead leg should be, yes, that's better. Eyes outward, swing plays outward. No, 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 back swing is too flat, back swing is too flat. You have to swing it this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so you are now turning this way more, right? Then you can stand on the little side. But you have this tendency here. Mm. Then drop here and then you are not turning this way that much, so the leg goes like this. And then after that, but now if you go a bit higher on this side, and turn left in the swing, the leg will be better extended to support your body. Again, pay attention to the, the pet, the direction of the swing plane, you are the only one who can sense it and then change it, okay? 
again uh, 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 uh. Yeah, have intentional supination here supination of the right forearm supination This way, this way, this way, this way. Yes. Back swing is still too flat. Back swing is too flat. Bring this up. Back swing side. Back swing side. Bring it higher. Turn this way. So instead of swinging hard, pay attention to the motion of the, the, the white ball here. You can relax here actually. Let it go, swing, let it go, swing, let it go, swing, let it go, swing. If you use your wrist well, without moving the body that much, you can still have good push sound using the wrist well here. So no need to move the body excessively. But uh, you have to have the intention to move the white ball along the path you want. So you, you should know which path you want to move the, the ball along, right? You have to have that intention and a good image of that and then move the club along that plane. Swinging hard, moving your body a lot is not important. You have to have a good motion plane of the stick. You're losing, you are losing the balance, you are losing the balance because it's all upper body motion. Use the legs, throw the legs, kick the leg, kick the leg, kick the leg. Stick motion is not stable. You're not paying attention to the stick motion. It's just a try to swing hard. Yeah. If you go slowly again, okay, I want to move the the white pole along this path. Come down here. A swing here. Swing here. We have a consistent plane here. With sweet slow motion. But then when you increase the speed. You have to stick to that plane. And you have to use the wrist well to make that happen. You have to use the pronation supination of the forearm well to make that happen. So in order to move the stick the way you want, you have to use the wrist and the forearm well. Okay? Because here we have a lot of radial motion. The pronation supination, and then if you add wrist motion with the pronation supination, you can generate a good amount of motion here. So without even using the body that much, just using the forearm and the wrist, you can generate good motion here. With this motion. Then your body action will just promote good throw here, instead of body is excessively moving like this. If you move like this, then you basically alter the swing plane. So instead, just a simple motion here. Your body doesn't have to uh, move that excessively. As long as you have the clear image of the target motion you want to generate. Use the wrist and the forearm well to have smooth, nice motion back and forth. Yes, the motion is now a lot cleaner. Ah, but let it go all the way, in the back let it go all the way. Yep. Mm -hmm. This motion is now a lot simpler. <laughs> that motion is a lot simpler. <laughs> no need to do this, <laughs> right? So this is the idea. When you know what motion you need to generate, your body has to work together to make that happen. 
And the motion is as simple as actually this one here. But because you killed the radial motion by going this way here, you restricted the, the forearm motion. That's why your body has to do something along with that. If you let the forearm, let the forearm and the wrist move the club nicely this way here, your body just a good kick, kick, and the promote that motion, promote that motion here, instead of this or going this. Okay? Again, your goal is to move this nicely, use the pronation, supination, and the wrist motion nicely. Yes, so you see, whenever you have you going this way, then here the motion is not as stable. But when you use a good pronation here, then the motion is a lot simpler. Even your body, body motion is a stable. When you do this, then you're moving body a lot. So now your daily understands what it is, so uh, he will be able to help you all the way. Swing, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then here. So in the back swing also, what you have to pay attention to is, let's say, <coughs> so this is uh, where the, cl the club is moving along, right? And then this is the end position here. The connect this pad and the this position and they use the shortest pad. Then that will be this one here. They had to use this board earlier using the orange with, with the roller, okay? Move this way, mm, mm, and then continue this motion to this position, right? Yeah. The same thing. So this pad here, and uh, this position, you have to connect this with the shortest pad. Instead of go flat here, and then try to lift this here, you can go straight to that position. Have that image. Go straight to this position, on the way down, also come down straight and then let it go. No need to detour by introducing straight body motion. Your body mainly turns, your body mainly turns about the spine axis. Turn, turn, turn. It's as simple as this motion here. Okay? This, this is what you need to do. And with that, let it go, let it go. Uh, outward, yes, yes, still the back swing, the start of the back swing is a bit flat here, so flat and you're going slightly uh, cross over here, so try to bring a bit higher, straight to uh, this end of the position. Yes, that, that path is good. Ah, 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 you stopped it. Mm hmm Yes. Swing. So see his body motion is the last thing. But still, swing to swing, it changes. So you have, you have to develop consistency. So practice this a lot. But he eliminated a lot of unnecessary body motion, particularly this one. So you have to understand the, the, the end motion that you need to generate. Okay? It's not about the pleasure of your body, but you have to move the club head the way you want. Okay? So sometimes you can just completely relax here, let it go. But still, you can maintain this plane. You know? Because you are using this motion here, using the motion and let it go. Instead of trying to use the body, and then try to use it. what's important is as you swing back and forth, use the speed down here. Using the speed, then let it go. Okay? The easiest way to draw the shortest path from here to here is using this speed. Here. With the speed, let it go. Instead of trying to manipulate. That's why we need to develop a good fast motion of the end 
as we did with the rock. Feel the, feel the motion of the end of the stick. See, the wish sound is higher. <laughs> and then this is lighter, so he can use the wrist. But when he uses a heavy uh, club, then he has to drag it. So early on, it's not a good idea to use a heavy uh, club head. So if uh, there's an extra weight here, then you have to remove it. Here's a, uh, uh, this is extra weight here. You can try a lighter one. Yeah. You can find uh, different weights uh, on Amazon or yeah. even, even your clip, head, uh, clip feeder may have uh, some other things, but uh, try to keep it a bit lighter. Even consider removing this. Yeah. Initially, you should be able to release the clip weight. Okay, release means you have to. You should be able to use the forearm pronation supination and the wrist motion like this. But because this is too heavy, when you do that, you feel a burden on the wrist. That's why you start dragging. Okay? So make it a bit lighter. Okay? So what we did today was uh, initially we started with the kettlebell, something heavy but short. That's helpful, helpful to uh, sort of turn on your legs and have a rhythmic motion. The rope swing, because it's flexible, Unless you move everything correctly, then the rope goes, you know, all over. Uh, let's go back to the rope swing again. So now, as you swing the rope, have the image of doing a pronation supination here with the rope. Then it will be a lot easier to control the rope motion. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So even with the rope, you have to use this pronation supination. Then you can easily move the rope along a consistent plane here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then use a, a lighter stick like this. And then particularly when it makes a sound, then you know how fast you are swinging. And when you hear a whoosh sound, it's good. And then also another, if it's not something like this, then another one you can perhaps use is um, This is a ripstick I recently got. Currently I have all the weights here, so it's a bit heavy. But you can remove the, the weight. And then it gives a little bit of sound. Gives a little sound. Or what you can do is you can uh, maybe uh, at the end of the stick you can uh, put another hole with the, the holes here attach it so that you can hear the whoosh sound. When you hear the whoosh sound, then you know how fast you are, you are swinging. Let me remove this weight here and then try this one. You can use a good forearm supination pronation. With the, this motion, <laughs> the swing looks a lot easier. And also, when you have this uh, supination at the top, you cannot go to this position. Mm -hmm. Only when you go flat and then lift, then yeah. easily you go to this position. But if you let the supination occur during the back swing here, then it's hard to go this way. Right? So uh, keep working on that. So you can use any device, but some sort of uh, um, auditory feedback that tells you how, how fast you are swinging. Active swing both ways and then minimize the uh, unnecessary motion of the body. All you need to promote is this motion. Then move the body accordingly. Yeah. Let it go over here, let it go here. So mostly what you need is just actually the leg action here. 
leg kick, leg kick, leg kick. This is all you need. But certainly, if you go to something like this, and then sitting down like this, then you are actually making your swing motion more complex. And you're also moving away from the swing. Point. So it's as simple as this. If you just use the forearm and wrist here, mainly the arms here, still you can have a good motion here. But this motion is coming from the body action, body action, body action. That it will make it faster, right? So pay attention to the motion of the end of the stick. Yeah. Now with that, the timing is a lot better. On the way down, you're using the body and then let it go away. The reason why, uh, the reason for using the lower body is to promote this motion here. Instead of this. <laughs> then your body and the, the arms are moving all differently. But when you promote this motion, this motion, this motion here, your body motion does not have to be that complex. Okay? Any questions? Well, this is uh, your new birthday. <laughs> so, so from today, diligently work on the rope swing. Find something light so that you can really release the wrist. A stick like this may be helpful. Okay, not too heavy. Particularly, the head shouldn't be too heavy. If this is heavy, then put the counter weight on this side here. They have a better balance. The orange whip has a good balance. Okay. But um, a lot of things, they have a heavy head here. You cannot handle it that way. Then you tend to drag it. Yeah. Then it alters your swing plane. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Either today's session is a crystal clear, <laughs> or you didn't pay attention to, <laughs> but I, I hope it's the the, the former. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, much. diligently work on the motion pattern, simplify the body motion. You just to need the, the leg actions and then promote this motion. This is excessive, particularly this. This, this you have a really bad example of all this. Yeah. But these are not good. It's just, just the screws of your swing motion. Okay.